Hi there, I'm Mike, and I'm here because last night I spent about five hours in line to get the best Star Wars toys at Toys R Us. And luckily for me, the haul paid off. So this is my Force Friday 2, I guess, even though there was one for The Force Awakens and there was one for Rogue One, and now there's another one, so it's technically three, but people are calling it two because I guess Rogue One didn't count, even though everyone called it Force Friday. That's a hashtag. This is my haul. This is the haul I did. So last night, uh, my fiance and some friends hung out in line in front of uh, Toys R Us. Backing up a little bit, when I first got there, my homeboy, that B-Boy Fett, I believe is his name. Anyway, I'm gonna put his Instagram tag right here because that's where we're friends at. I met him last year at Force Friday. He was first in line and at about 9.30 or so, Dorkside Toys, shout out Dorkside Toys, they put their whole thing just live and he just ordered them all online and then gave me his spot at the front where he was. There was only one person behind him, so it wasn't like a big deal. They still had one person ahead of them. I don't feel bad taking his spot and kind of jumping the line because their spot in line didn't change. Anyway, so shout out to you, B-Boy. Check out his Instagram. So we waited in line and Toys R Us was, you know, that's the place to go. They usually have some fun stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at my haul that I got last night at midnight for Toys R Us. First of all, anyone that went got a shirt and I was very much worried that they wouldn't have my size and they didn't. This is an extra large shirt. Now, I have been slimming down over the last two months. I've lost about 25 pounds. I don't know if you can tell, I can but that's because I have to live in my body every day. Kind of want to see how, how well this shirt fits. I mean, if I keep doing this, eventually I'll get back down to XL instead of double XL, right? So let's see how tight this shirt is. One, two, three. Whoa, whoa. Actually, <laughs> my nips are hard. It's not that tight. That's neat. It's tight, don't get me wrong, but it's not that tight. I like this. I just can't get over how well this fits. I, I didn't think it was going to fit at all. I thought it was going to be crazy. Anyway, sorry. I also got this pretty rad poster. I mean, everyone did. It's not like I'm special, but it's got the big walkers. I don't know what they're called. I mean, I should. There's also some Thai fighters and Thai bombers in there. That's, I actually don't know what I'm going to do with this. I cared about this the least. So that was the boring stuff out of the way. Everyone got those. Let's talk about what I actually got. So I went straight to the pegs and started looking around and I'm like, oh, these are old, these are old, these are old. Boom, started hitting new stuff. And actually first, I didn't find this last night. I actually ordered it online, but I got it a couple days ago. But they had Commander Gree. So if you're at Toys R Us, this is a Toys R Us exclusive. They had a bunch of these on the shelves last night. But I just wanted to, to bring that out to show you. Why is that still in the package? Well. I, I put it back just to, so I could show you what it looks like. It's silly. I did that for a lot of things tonight because I already opened up last night's haul and I put it painstakingly back in because I just, I did. I just thought it looked better when I was showing them to you rather than, in the, I don't know. So weirdly enough, I didn't see anything from wave one. I'm like, where's wave one? Where's Hera? Where's Thrawn? I think that, those are the figures that I was looking for. Thrawn super white, Luke is super white, like their, their outfits, not their skin tone. On blue. My eyeballs were looking out for the colors to grab them as soon as I saw them. They only got two boxes of figures and they were both wave two. So I saw first Maz just sitting right there in front of me and I was like, Maz? Maz Kanata? She doesn't, I didn't think she was out yet. So I snatched her up and then right behind her was this guy. This is the um, elite Praetorian guard. I guess it's a Snoke's guard. I'm completely like sidelined by this. I, I wasn't expecting to see these at all. I was expecting to see wave one. And here I am picking up wave two before I even see wave one, like with my own peepers. So I was pretty excited. Next is Finn in First Order Disguise. I'm pretty sure they actually had this in a trailer of, or, a, or like a picture they released. So I don't think it's that big of a spoiler. Like Star Wars characters have never dressed up as bad guy Star Wars characters before. So uh, Finn, I'm, I'm always excited to have a Finn. I love John Boyega. Then, uh, I mean, these were pretty much in order numerically. This is 51, uh, 49, 50, 51, number 52 was General Princess, uh, General Princess Leia. Number 52 is uh, General Leia Organa. I guess you dropped the solo at some point. This is from episode seven. These are episode eight figures. Actually, just take that back. Maz is, uh, as far as I know, she's episode seven. I don't know if she's in episode eight too, but. But this is Leia also from pretty much episode seven. So I was pretty excited to have her. It's always good to have another Leia slash girl in your series. Last is definitely not dressed like Bespin Han. 
Poe Dameron. And the one thing I noticed like straight away looking at his face, he actually looks like Oscar Isaac. They've started doing the, the face scanning thing for sculpting instead of hand sculpting and painting. And instead of looking like Steve Buscemi or uh, Ian McShane, he actually looks like Oscar Isaac and that's cool. I wish that he and some of the others came with more stuff. He just comes with a gun that fits in a holster. She comes with a gun and doesn't even have a holster. He just comes with a spear thing. I do want to say his articulation kind of sucks, but I'm going to review all of these fully. So don't don't worry about me glossing over this. We're going to get a full review. And Mass comes with the most stuff, but probably because she's the smallest figure. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to say that I was pretty I was pretty disappointed by the lack of accessories that they came with. Also there last night, since it's part of Wave Two, but also part of Wave One is Kylo Ren. So I grabbed him last night as well. He's a repack from wave one, kind of held over. So I I, I got him last night and, and that's good because I like Kylo Ren. I, I do a lot, so that's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put these down here. I guess I'm just gonna drop them down here because my haul's not over. This is Luke Skywalker's X-34 Land Speeder. And I was super stoked to have this. They didn't have Ray there. I was a little bummed about that, but this is the one I wanted the most. I'm very impressed with the paint job. I'm very impressed with the sculpting, with the detail. I'll talk about the Luke. I'll compare this Luke to the other release, but this is actually a pretty good Luke. It's a bit on the expensive side. I was kind of hoping for 40, but they did do a lot with this. And, he, and Luke comes with a lot of accessories. He comes with his floppy hat, he comes with his poncho, he comes with his long gun that clips onto the side. Anyway, again, I'll review these later. I love it. It's it's so good. It's, it's so good. So this morning, my alarm went off at 7.45 and I got up and I went to the Walmart and Target right next to my house because that's what I figured. They opened at eight, both of them. I wanted to get Wave 1 and Ray Speeder if I could find it. There's also an exclusive first order Stormtrooper from Target that I know is released. So I wanted to see if I could find those. Walmart had nothing, absolutely nothing. They had the shelf cleared out for where they were gonna put it. So I bailed and went across the street to Target. And the first thing I saw was Race Speeder, which I happily grabbed. Uh, I have not opened this yet. These, these are all unopened because I literally just got home like two hours ago before recording this. I'm very much looking forward to opening this up and posting pictures of it and reviewing it. This was the first vehicle they announced. I kind of fell in love with it a little bit, even though it just looks like a fudge sickle. It's a silly looking vehicle. I like it. Um, and I like what they did with Ray, where they gave her her scavenger look. Like I just, I like all of that. So I'm, I'm very excited and happy to have this. I'm really happy that the Black Series is doing vehicles. I'm super excited about that. I know the TIE Fighter, I don't think it went over as well as they wanted it to. I'm glad they're experimenting with smaller personal vehicles. So also on the shelf, they had all of Wave 1. So I'm just gonna pull these out one at a time. First, sitting right there was Hera, who I love. I was super excited when they announced her last year at last Comic-Con. Not this last one, but the one before that. Next is number, uh, actually next is 43, that's Darth Vader. There were actually a bunch there, but I just had a hard time. I had a hard time justifying purchasing it on a red card. Even though it's a great figure and I reviewed it way back in the day when the 40th anniversary one came out, I have it. I just couldn't justify owning another one just because it came in a different box. I might snag it if I can get it for like 10 or so, but I just felt weird spending the full 20 on a figure that I already spent 40 on because of the stupid stand, you know? Anyway, this is Rey. She's in her episode eight Jedi training gear, which is basically just a different version of her episode seven scavenger gear. It's mostly the same, but a little different. More importantly though, this one comes with the lightsaber right away instead of being added and repacked way later. Her staff still, but also the gun, which should have come with the episode seven Ray, like why not? It's that's stupid. This it's stupid that it took us two years to get a Ray with a gun when it should have just come with the other one. Anyway, it's fine. That's fine. Everything's fine. Number forty six is Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. I know this was on a lot of people's wish list. This could technically be in episode seven slash episode eight Luke Skywalker because this is what it looked like for the three seconds that he was in that movie. I'm assuming this is what it looks like in episode eight. Weirdly enough, I'm looking everywhere. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's bugging me. Does he not come with any accessories at all? I have to open this. I'm gonna open this right here, right now. No, he doesn't. No, no lightsaber. I mean, I guess maybe they, they would consider it a spoiler alert because they want to like they want to hide out Luke's lightsaber or whatever. But he just he's just an old guy 
in a robe. I just have a feeling that he's gonna be a peg warmer. He's just an old dude in a robe. I'm happy I have him, but I, again, accessories, accessories, come on. Grand Admiral Thrawn. I almost bought the San Diego Comic-Con version of this for 70 bucks from the Chosen Prime. Shout out to the Chosen Prime, one of my other favorite online retailers, but they're for Transformers mostly. Dorkside is where, who I use to buy Star Wars and things like that. If you're ever wondering who I use online mostly. Anyway, Grand Admiral Thrawn, it's basically on the, I don't know, like General Hux body, but with a blue head and hands and different colors. And last, since I didn't pick up a Vader, I did though pick up a Stormtrooper. And you might say, Mike, don't you already have a Stormtrooper from way back in phase one when it came out? Yeah, I do. And I'm a little bummed I didn't pick up a 40th anniversary Stormtrooper, but I'm happy I picked this up. Why? because you can always have more Stormtroopers. I don't like buying doubles of the exact same thing. This is technically in a different box, which makes it okay for me to buy. That's how I'm justifying it. You, you need Stormtroopers, you need fodder, you need, that, you need that faceless warrior for the bad guys, you just do. And that's it, that's my haul. What do you think? I feel like I spent a lot of money. I spent too much money. I have a problem. This is a cry for help. But yeah, other than that, I'm really happy with what I got. I can't wait to open them up all and, and, and take pictures of them all together and, and, and play with the, the vehicles. I'm just, I'm looking forward to just having them in my collection. I don't know how I'm going to organize these now. I'm going to slowly kind of fit them in. Before I go though, there are some exclusives to look out for. If you're not aware of this, you could use this as the news segment. GameStop has a couple exclusives, I believe. As far as I know, it came out now, but I went to GameStop and they had no idea what I was talking about. But it's gonna be Snoke. He has a throne. I think it retails for 40 bucks. I believe there's also a four pack that's GameStop, Barnes and Noble, and Disney Store exclusive. It's a four pack of guards. It's a like an episode one Senate guard. It's Emperor's Royal Guard, a black version of the Emperor's Royal Guard, and then another version of the Praetorian Guard from episode eight. There's a two pack with Admiral Akbar and a random First Order officer. I don't know what exclusive that's from. I think it's GameStop, but I'll put that right here when I go look that up. I just can't remember right now. Amazon has two exclusives. Right now, when I pre them last night, because that was the first time you could, it says December is when they're coming out. But one is one on my wish list, which I'm super excited about. It's this first order stormtrooper, but it comes with just like an absolute ton of accessories. You can deck them out like the heavy trooper, which is what I wanted. I think that was pretty high on my wish list video, but you can make them a riot trooper with the shield and the baton. So you can make them a couple different troopers out of this one trooper. You can customize it how you want, which is pretty cool. The other Amazon exclusive is another Praetorian guard, but he has, I think he has a different helmet or if he doesn't from the one I got, he has a bigger weapon. Like it's a super long, he comes with the one, like a force pike and then like a super long staff. I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. I hope your Force Friday was as good as mine has been so far. It's not over as of the recording of this, but I don't think I'm gonna get anything else today. I've spent enough money already. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far and I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, I'm Mike and I'm standing in line in front of Toys R Us. Is it there? It's there. This is Ron, <laughs> this is Vinny, and they're on my YouTube channel right now because Sweet. why not? Zach's not here, so I don't want to disappoint anyone expecting surprise Zach's. <laughs> <laughs> that was on purpose. I said jokes on purpose for me.